Now we have faced such level of oppressiveness in our land. Such level of frustration in our land. Such level of suppression. We are in one segment of the, of the nation. Blood will flow like water. Killings and killers will arrive. Level a whole village overnight. In some cases, they will own up that they are the ones who did it. For the sake of whatever reasons they, 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 they claim. Nobody is arrested. Nobody is prosecuted. Nothing happens. No consequence. In another part of the country, probably the southwest or south-south or southeast, some people come out for demonstration. And before you know it, people are leveled to the ground. People are arrested. All right? So there is one law for one part and one law for another part. That is the situation we have faced so far. The situation of injustice and inequality. Now you look at the situation with appointments and positionings. And it will appear to you as if intelligent people don't exist in no other part of the country apart from some parts of the country. We have a multi-ethnic country. We have a multilingual country. We have a multi-religious country with two dominant religious bodies in the nation. But if you look at sensitive positionings, whether it's in the executive, in the judiciary, in the legislative, in the military or paramilitary, it appears as if there are no people in any other part of the country. Take a look at this. You have President Northwest Muslim. You have Senate President Northeast Muslim. You have INEC Chairperson Northwest Muslim. You have Speaker of the House of Representatives Southwest Muslim. You have Chief of Air Staff Northeast Muslim. Minister of Defense Muslim North. Chief of Army Staff, Northeast Muslim, Inspector General of Police, North Central Muslim, National Security Advisor, Northeast Muslim, Director, uh, National Intelligence Agency, Muslim North, uh, Director General, SSS, Northwest Muslim, Controller General of Immigration, Northwest Muslim, Controller General of Customs, North Muslim, Controller General of uh, Civil Defense, Muslim North, Controller General of uh, Nigeria Immigration uh, Prison Service, Muslim North, Acting Chairman of EFCC, Northeast Muslim, Chief Justice of the Federation, Northeast Muslim, Code of Conduct Head, Muslim Northeast, Managing Director of Post Authority, Northwest Muslim, Nimasa, North Muslim, NNPC Managing Director, Northeast Muslim, Minister of Education, Northeast Muslim. National Universities Commission, Northwest Muslim, Jam, Southwest Muslim, and so on and so forth. We can keep on going on, on and on. Someone has said that the top 20 positionings in NNPC is uh, occupied from the same region as well. What comes to mind is there is no intelligent person and no qualified person from any other part of the country. There is no intelligent Ishekiri person, no intelligent Ijo person, no intelligent Biron person, no intelligent Magavul person, no intelligent Tiff person, no intelligent Idoma person, no intelligent Igala person, no intelligent Ibira person, no intelligent Ibibio person, no intelligent Anam person, no intelligent Ethic person, no intelligent Ishan person, no intelligent Bini person. No intelligent person from no other part of the country that can be in any of those sensitive positions except people from one region and one religion and people are meant to be forced to exist in peace under that kind of upside down, highly nepotistic, clanistic situation and that is absolutely impossible. If it was a charm, it cleared. If it was a, a mentality bankruptcy, mentality is returned. It's impossible. There can be no peace in such level of inequality, in such level of brazen effrontery at taking a whole nation for granted. Nations of the world did not experience one, one over 100 of what Nigerians have experienced and scattered in pieces. 
Soviet Union is nowhere to be found. Yugoslavia was one country that scattered and splintered into eight countries out of one country. Czechoslovakia splintered into two. They didn't see one over 100 of what we are seeing. Nations in the world that are wise enough, that are multi-ethnic, multi did their best. The United Kingdom, even though it's a nation, has ethnic groups that took care of the ethnic groups and gave regional autonomy to the Scottish, to the Irish, and the Welsh. Switzerland have, has four ethnic groups, and they make their presidencies see to revolve around these four groups. What is the solution to the situation in our land today? If there must be peace, there must be equity, there must be fairness, there must be justice. People have clamored for restructuring. It is the devolution of power. Otherwise, there may be the dissolution of union. It happened in other places. And we pray and trust God that it doesn't happen in our nation. It's not time to play the ostrich and hide the head under. What is not confronted cannot be conquered. In medicine, we call something the debridement of wounds. You expose wounds in order to repair them. You clean them out in order to repair them. You make them bleed. Truth is what heals. And if truth is not spoken, healing doesn't happen. And it is time to tell the truth. People have been suppressed, subdued, subjugated, and treated, second-rated, as if they don't have sense and they don't have reasoning. And this nation is one of the most intelligent nations in the world. Our doctors, our professionals are the most intelligent around the nations of the world. Nigerians and Nigeria people have the highest rate of PhDs in America of any ethnic group apart from maybe Americans themselves. And it is time for us to sit up and say these things must be corrected and do the right thing and we do the right thing on time so that Jehovah can hear us and answer our prayers. As for every protest going on, two wrongs don't make a right. Protests are encouraged to be very peaceful, very calm. No destruction of lives, no destruction of properties in any form. Let life not flow because there is abnormality in the land. And we believe that the Lord will help us. God bless you. And I know you will not remain the same. Share this link with your friends and let every one of us join forces together with God Almighty and let our land be healed and be saved. In Jesus' precious name, amen.